Do you know how Facebook takes your data and loses it to the dark web? It's an uncomfortable truth that none of the tech majors nor the politicians of most large democracies want to admit. Tech majors lose more data than any Chinese company like TikTok or Huawei or ByteDance. So, citing security concerns and data pilferage by the Chinese is not good enough. It is not only they who use our data, our personal data, inappropriate. Some nations like the US and EU, where the data protection laws are the toughest and where everything is specified where and how the data must be stored, those places we find a huge amount of data pilferage and the biggest offender amongst them is Facebook. From 2012 to 2013, a bug on a Facebook platform exposed personal information of 6 million, 6 million people including email addresses and phone numbers. The bug involved the user's ability to download the contact information from the connection, from their friends, etc. And while doing so, it also took additional data that it wasn't ad authorized to view. Facebook found out about this bug only 18 months later, fixed the problem but did not apologize. A year later, in 2014, British profiling company Cambridge Analytica was given access of Facebook users' data. Cambridge Analytica, the voter profiling company, promised to develop psychological profiles of 50 million US voters from the Facebook profiles so that Trump's campaign manager could tailor their pitches from person to person. In 2016, just before the elections, the scandal surfaced in the media, but Facebook got away, pleading that they were ignorant how CA had used the data. This data sharing happened in the US, where privacy laws were the toughest. Hence, if you are storing your personal data in the cloud or in social media sites like Meta, Insta, Facebook, you must always know that your data could be compromised, pilfered, hacked or shared or sold. So the security and the reliability of cloud data will always remain a concern for you. This is largely because you are not paying for the data. You are not paying for the services you are using. Facebook will always have the spending power to ensure that enough senators, lawyers, and judges back them and give them full immunity. Accounts were breached at Yahoo in 2013, 145 million at eBay in 2014, 143 million at Equifax in 2017, 78 million at Anthem in 2015, 76 million at JP Morgan Chase in 2014. The list goes on and on. The security of all that private data is gone, likely sold many times over to the highest bidder on the dark web. We live in an information age. Data breaches and privacy hacks are not a question of if, they are a question of when. But the case with Facebook is slightly different. The 87 million accounts extracted by Cambridge Analytica are just the beginning, with likely dozens of other third parties that have accessed this information. As far as we know, the dam is still broken. As you have noted, Mr. Zuckerberg, Facebook's business model is based on capitalizing on the private personal information of your users. Data security should be a central pillar of this model. And with your latest vast breach of privacy and the widespread political manipulation that followed it, the question this committee must ask itself is what role the federal government should play in protecting the American people and the democratic institutions that your platform and others like it have put at risk. In this case, you gave permission to mine the data of some 87 million users based on the deceptive consent a consent of just a fraction of that number. When they found out I was going to be speaking with you today, my constituents asked me to share some of their concerns in person. How can they protect themselves on your platform? Why should they trust you again with their likes, their loves, their lives? 
Users trusted Facebook to prioritize user privacy and data security, and that trust has been shattered. I'm encouraged that Facebook is committed to making changes, but I am indeed wary that you are only acting now out of concern for your brand and only making changes that should have been made a long time ago. We have described this as an arms race, but every time we saw what precautions you have, or in most cases have not taken, your company is caught unprepared and ready to issue another apology. I'm left wondering again why Congress should trust you again. We'll be watching you closely to ensure that Facebook follows through on these commitments. Many of my constituents have asked about your business model, where users are the product. Mary of Half Moon in my district called it infuriating, infuriating. Andy of Schenectady, New York asked, why doesn't Facebook pay its users for their incredibly valuable data? Facebook claims that users rightly own and control their data, yet their data keeps being exposed on your platform and these breaches cause more and more harm each time. You have said that Facebook was built to empower its users. Instead, users are having their information abused with absolutely no recourse. In light of this harm, what liability should Facebook have? When users' data is mishandled, who is responsible and what recourse do users have? Do you bear that liability? Congressman, I think we're responsible for protecting people's information for sure. But one thing that you said that I, that I want to provide some clarity on. Do you on, bear the liability? Well, you said earlier, you referenced that you thought that we were only taking action um, after this came to light. Actually, we made significant changes to the platform in 2014 that would have made this incident with Cambridge Analytica impossible to happen again today. Um, I wish we'd made those changes a couple of years earlier because uh, this poll app uh, got people to use it back in 2013 and 2014. And if we had made the changes a couple of years earlier, then... Facebook issues apologies. Facebook says it's not guilty. But again and again, user passwords are lost on the Facebook platform. In March 2019, 600 million passwords were exposed. And 2,000 Facebook employees were found using them for developing internal applications and on insecure servers. It took them three months to secure those passwords. And before that, in April 2019, there was another leak, this time of 450 million passwords <coughs> and Facebook records which were available on a different server. And security company Upgrad discovered it. By the time that was leaked, in September 2019, another 419 million passwords were available on a different server. This also, it was without unsecured, and this was found. And Facebook again went to issue the fix, and as if this was not enough, in December 2019, 300 million Facebook accounts were found on the dark web. And as you know, the dark web is the mother of all criminal activities, where these passwords are bought and sold so that the hackers can hack into your account. And because this was on a Mexican server, Facebook took two months to issue the fix and to secure the servers. And by that time, another 42 million passwords were on a dark web, this time in Vietnam. And again, Facebook issued a fix. Again, it took time to secure those passwords. And again, within a few months, in April 2021, it was found that half a billion passwords were available on another server which was unprotected, and this keeps on happening. And every time Facebook issues a fix, every time Facebook issues an apology, but the things don't change. Regulators just don't do enough to make Facebook more responsible to your data, and that is what it is. So we will take leave of you this week because we have to go to our Hindi section, think about it, we'll come back again on data security next week and you will hear more stories of what is actually happening with your data and how unsecure it is. 
थैंक यू क्या आप जानते हैं क्या फेसबुक पे आपका डेटा असुरक्षित है और वो बार बार डार्क नेट पे जाता है ये एक कठोर सत्य है क्या हम चाहे कितना भी हुआई को और टिकटॉक को और बाइट डांस को दोषी करें क्या हमारा डेटा चाइनीज लोग असुरक्षित बना रहे हैं और उसको इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं सत्य तो ये है कि क्या हमारा डेटा हम खुद नहीं संभाल पाते हैं और यूएस और ईयू में इतने सख्त डेटा प्रोटेक्शन लॉज होने के बावजूद भी हमारा डेटा बार बार लीक होता है और वो जाके डार्क नेट हम ये आपको ऐसे ही नहीं बोल रहे हैं हम इसका सबूत देंगे हर साल यही हो रहा है और इसका कोई भी इलाज नहीं 2012 से 2013 के बीच में एक बग आया था जो कि फेसबुक प्लेटफॉर्म में 6 मिलियन यूजर डेटा को असुरक्षित उससे ये हो सकता था कि कोई भी आदमी उसको डाउनलोड कर सकता था आसानी से यूजर आई पासवर्ड्स नेम्स एज लोकेशन जो यूज़र का है सारे डिटेल्स वो डाउनलोड कर सकता था एक नहीं दो नहीं छः मिलियन लोगों फिर फेसबुक ने इसका फिक्स निकाला और उसको ठीक किया पर फिर 2014 में कैम्ब्रिज एनालिटिका करके एक वोटर प्रोफाइलिंग कंपनी को फेसबुक ने एक्सेस दे दिया अपना डेटाबेस और कैम्ब्रिज एनालिटिका ने क्या किया उसने ट्रंप के डोनाल्ड ट्रंप के जो सलाहकार है उनको बताया कि हम 50 मिलियन फेसबुक यूजर्स जो यूएस में हैं और जो वोटर लिस्ट में हैं उनका हम साइकोलॉजिकल प्रोफाइलिंग करके आपके पास भेजेंगे जो कि आप इलेक्शन का जो हर संदेश आप वोटर टू वोटर बदल बदल के भेज और ये पकड़ा गया 2016 में इलेक्शन के पहले फेसबुक ने कहा हम तो नहीं जानते थे कि कैम्ब्रिज एनालिटिका किस तरह से ये डेटा इस्तेमाल करेगा तो इसलिए फेसबुक छूट गया फेसबुक को कुछ नहीं हुआ पर इससे कोई फर्क नहीं इससे बिल्कुल कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ा क्योंकि फेसबुक ये डेटा शेयरिंग जारी रखा और ये तब हुआ जबकि यूएस में इतने कड़े नियम हैं डेटा प्राइवेसी लॉस के बट ये आपका डेटा है और ये आपका डेटा हमेशा ऐसे असुरक्षित रहेगा क्योंकि आप इस डेटा के लिए पैसे नहीं दे रहे हैं और क्योंकि आप फ्री इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं फेसबुक प्लेटफॉर्म में और क्योंकि फेसबुक के पास इतना पैसा है जो कि वो कोई भी जज या कोई भी सेनेटर या कोई भी लॉयर को अपने तरफ खींच सकता है जो कि उसको फुल इम्यूनिटी देगा अगर आपको विश्वास ना हो ये देखिए फेसबुक का जवाब और ये देखिए हमारे अगले सत्र में हम क्या आपको बताने वाले यूजर अकाउंट्स वर ब्रीच्ड एट याहू इन 2013 145 मिलियन एट ईबे इन 2014 143 million at Equifax in 2017, 78 million at Anthem in 2015, 76 million at J.P. Morgan Chase in 2014. The list goes on and on. The security of all that private data is gone, likely sold many times over to the highest bidder on the dark web. We live in an information age. Data breaches and privacy hacks are not a question of if; they are a question of when. But the case with Facebook is slightly different. The 87 million accounts extracted by Cambridge Analytica are just the beginning, with likely dozens of other third parties that have accessed this information. As far as we know, the dam is still broken. As you have noted, Mr. Zuckerberg, Facebook's business model is based on capitalizing on the private, personal information of your users. Data security should be a central pillar of this model. And with your latest vast breach of privacy and the widespread political manipulation that followed it, the question this committee must ask itself is: What role the federal government should play in protecting the American people and the democratic institutions that your platform and others like it have put at risk? In this case, you gave permission to mine the data of some 87 million users based on the deceptive consent, a consent of just a fraction of that number. 
When they found out I was going to be speaking with you today, my constituents asked me to share some of their concerns in person. How can they protect themselves on your platform? Why should they trust you again with their likes, their loves, their lives? Users trusted Facebook to prioritize user privacy and data security, and that trust has been shattered. I'm encouraged that Facebook is committed to making changes, but I am indeed wary that you are only acting now out of concern for your brand and only making changes that should have been made a long time ago. We have described this as an arms race, but every time we saw what precautions you have, or in most cases have not taken, your company is caught unprepared and ready to issue another apology. I'm left wondering again why Congress should trust you again. We'll be watching you closely to ensure that Facebook follows through on these commitments. Many of my constituents have asked about your business model, where users are the product. Mary of Half Moon in my district called it infuriating, infuriating. Andy of Schenectady, New York asked, why doesn't Facebook pay its users for their incredibly valuable data? Facebook claims that users rightly own and control their data, yet their data keeps being exposed on your platform and these breaches cause more and more harm each time. You have said that Facebook was built to empower its users. Instead, users are having their information abused with absolutely no recourse. In light of this harm, what liability should Facebook have? When users' data is mishandled, who is responsible and what recourse do users have? Do you bear that liability? Congressman, I think we're responsible for protecting people's information for sure. But one thing that you said that I, that I want to provide some clarity on. Do you on, bear the liability? Well, you said earlier, you referenced that you thought that we were only taking action um, after this came to light. Actually, we made significant changes to the platform in 2014 that would have made this incident with Cambridge Analytica impossible to happen again today. Um, I wish we'd made those changes a couple of years earlier because uh, this poll app uh, got people to use it back in 2013 and 2014. And if we had made the changes a couple of years earlier, then. This is the session Technology for All in English and Hindi, which we have discussed in the discuss technology, which we have discussed in our book, Routledge, Prakashit, Innovative Technologies. For future living में के भाग हैं। अब हम आपको बताते हैं कि Facebook कैसे डेटा को आपका रखता है। 2019 के मार्च में साइबर सिक्योरिटी एक्सपर्ट ब्रेन कर्ब्स ने बताया कि 600 मिलियन यूजर पासवर्ड प्लेन टेक्स्ट फाइल में Facebook ने रखा हुआ है, जो उसके 2000 एम्प्लाइज यूज कर रहे हैं रोज एक एप्लीकेशन जनरेट कर और ये कोई सुरक्षित सर्वर के ऊपर फेसबुक ने उसका सुरक्षित सर्वर में डालने के लिए दो तीन महीने लगाए और इसी के अंदर अप्रैल 2019 में एक महीने बाद एक और सर्वर के ऊपर ये दिखा कि फेसबुक ने 540 मिलियन फेसबुक रिकॉर्ड्स वहाँ पे अवेलेबल थे एक पब्लिक सर्वर के ऊपर वो भी असुरक्षित तो जब तक ये 540 मिलियन फेसबुक यूजर्स का डेटा को सुरक्षित करते तो सितंबर 2019 में पता चला कि 419 मिलियन फेसबुक यूजर्स एक और जगह पे पब्लिक सर्वर के ऊपर ओपन रिकॉर्ड है जिसमें सारा यूजर डेटा सारा उनका नाम पता पासवर्ड्स एज लोकेशन सारे डिटेल्स हैं तो ये एक के बाद एक होता रहा और फेसबुक एक के बाद एक उसको ठीक करता रहा पर तब भी सुधरा कुछ नहीं क्योंकि दिसंबर 2019 में 300 मिलियन ऐसे पासवर्ड्स और अकाउंट्स के डिटेल थे जो कि एकदम डार्क वेब में पाया गया और डार्क वेब क्या है डार्क वेब वो है जहां पे क्रिमिनल्स लोग ये डेटा को बेचते हैं और वो हैकर्स उठा के यही डेटा लेके जब उनके पास पासवर्ड होता है आपका ईमेल आईडी होता है और आपका डेट ऑफ बर्थ होता है तो वो डेटा लेके वो आपका अकाउंट में इजीली हैक कर लेते हैं तो ये था पाया गया दिसंबर 2019 में तो फेसबुक ने कहा कि ये तो मेक्सिको में ये सर्वर है तो उसको तीन चार महीने लग गए मेक्सिको के सर्वर को से ये डेटाबेस को सिक्योर करने में 
तब तक पता चला कि वियतनाम के यहाँ वियतनाम में एक डार्क वेब सर्वर में 42 मिलियन डेटा यूजर डेटा उपलब्ध है और उसमें भी ऐसा है कि सारे रिकॉर्ड्स अवेलेबल हैं और फिर फेसबुक ने उसको ठीक किया और जब तक उसको ठीक किया फिर अप्रैल 2021 में पता चला कि अब 500 मिलियन मतलब हाफ अ बिलियन अकाउंट्स लीक हो चुके हैं वो भी एक ओपन सर्वर पे है और उसका भी लैब्स को ठीक करने में फेसबुक को काफ़ी टाइम लगा और कम से कम 30 मिलियन यूएस अकाउंट होल्डर्स उससे बहुत ज़्यादा एफेक्टेड हो गए तो ये तो रहा फेसबुक की कहानी हर बार वो कुछ ना कुछ बोलता है कुछ ना कुछ ठीक करता है और हर बार आपका डेटा उसी के डेटाबेस से लीक होता है और वो सुरक्षित तो ये हम आपको बता रहे हैं इस हफ्ता और अगले हफ्ता हम आपको दूसरे टॉपिक पे ले जाएंगे जो कि फिर आपका डेटा सुरक्षित